Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Respect yourself. Um, how do I explain this? The fact is, society today likes to push people down, run them down, and it's all based on creating insecurity. Um, you often hear about the uh, the weight issues relating to a uh, what do they call it? It's not a BC, it's the reverse, but the model being too thin is all to do with perfection but the perfection model is actually distorted in the first place let's be honest here um models weren't naturally that thin anyway they're actually forced to under eat in the first place yeah but that's pushed as the norm so it drives you to be like that it drives um a perfection that isn't perfect the whole per the point being nothing is actually real the real thing is you you are you as a person that has your own way of thinking way of motivating yourself direction personality and traits the rest of it is made up it's you must have this car you must have a big house you must have all these things that may not be obtainable because if they were obtainable you can't get them on credit so what is my point on this respect yourself for who you are right um, the fact is what bothers me most do I worry about my complexion do I bother that I have too many beers or do I worry that I'm overweight or do I bother that um, I'm not in touch with my feelings? The answer is no. Couldn't care less. Do I drink too much? You know, personally, um, <laughs> this is an interesting one. I'll, I'll go back to something that a few years back. A friend of mine mentioned to me about people that go to the bar because back then i would like instead of going home i'd go to the bar for an hour then go home why did i do that there's a disconnect for me between work and home i was stressed from work and rather than go home and be an argumentative person i um i would go to the bar complain about work and the other guys around me would complain about work then we went home happy We'd had a couple of beers, we chilled out, just go home. Um, today, it's not a good thing to see, is it? You know, if you go to the bar every day, you're a bad person. The reality is, what is better? Would I die of stress? Would I be dead of stress? The answer is, uh, don't know. But did it make me a worse person going to the bar for like two, three pints a day? The answer was no. Um, it actually made me a better person. Why? I don't take work home. If I do, I'm then frustrated the next day that I brought that home. As such, question to me is, do I need that job or should, is it time to quit and change jobs? Most people aren't in that situation. So the reality is you should be able to value yourself you should be able to say i am this person society says you i mean you have to be in touch with your feelings and everything else i said it all without saying a word there it's fake right a lot of this stuff is driven driven by feminism and feministic views on how guys should be not guys view on how guys should be my personal view is what makes you happy makes you happy. That's it. You know, if you if you like going to a, for a beer every evening or whatever, who is it hurting? The answer is nobody. Because you don't have a six pack like Brad Brad Pitt, doesn't matter. The answer is no. Because if you did, your partner is very likely either to not care because she likes you the way you are, or if she's that vain. 
she's going to be looking for somebody else anyway. That's vanity. Um, so be who you want to be. Um, you'll be happier. I'll tell you now. If you if you can wake up in the morning and go to work and just go through life without the stress of oh I feel a little overweight and oh this is all feminist stuff that's got into the guy cycle. Um, it doesn't matter, you know. Where I live in the UK, I'll be honest, the women here can be real asses. Um, they're opinionated, they're a little bit, um, I'd say horse, you know, long nose, horse faced, um, in the fact that they are so far up their own butt. Um, do I care? The answer is no. And you know what? They they actually would have more respect for me than the average guy in the area. Because the fact is, I don't run to them. The fact is, I couldn't care less about them. Um, which is the bit that they have an issue with. Because a lot of this is, the old daddy this, daddy that. So when you actually reject them, um, they have an insecurity complex about it. Um, not, not saying I'm encouraging it, but the whole point is if you run after them, they just abuse it. Um, a friend of mine, you know, it's not just me, by the way. A friend of mine moved to Cheltenham, uh, which is about 30 miles away from where I live in the UK. And he's already, within a year, he's married, settled, happy. He'd been in Worcester, uh, he worked for me about nine years ago. Um, and that's how we met and he become a friend and he said the best thing he did was leaving this area and he's right I, I wouldn't regret it you know you know I would never turn around and say anybody who said that it's wrong but it's because of this whole feminism nonsense um, I'm not an anti-feminist but I would say that they need to sit there and just realize that it's not all me, 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 that there's an equality here. And if you don't understand real equality, then you have a problem because people like me say, keep it because we're leaving. <laughs> um, but yeah, you need to respect yourself. If you've got a partner who doesn't respect you, ditch them. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a guy. I'll be honest with you. It doesn't matter who you are because I'm not anti this or anti that. What I'm anti is nonsense. Um, if your guy's treating you bad, ditch him. If your woman's treating you bad, ditch him. Um, life's too short. You have to be aware. You only have this. This, this is your one run at life. There is no reruns. There's no rewind. There's no retake. It's over if you don't do it now you're dead you're right you're a hole in the ground you have not experienced nothing you haven't achieved nothing you're just a hole in the ground you're just worm food so if you're not able to achieve it now you never will and if somebody is grinding you down then ditch them i tell you now ditch them doesn't matter who it is right if it's your boss ditch them um if it's your partner, ditch them. If it's a family issue, ditch them. Just say, with a family though, I will say this, just tell them why you're doing it. Don't just cut them off. Um, the reason I say that is family is quite important. Uh, the, re the rest is replaceable. But family, you just turn around and say, look, this is why I'm calling it a day. I'm not happy with this, that X, Y, Z. Don't contact me again, blah, blah, blah. Walk away. They if they're if they have any respect for you will approach you within six months and apologize and say okay i've had to think about this blah 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 otherwise good riddance though the bad news respect yourself right if you can't why would anybody else thanks for watching